What's up guys, this is Andrew at Diamond Graphics. Uh, so today we have, uh, this week we have a really cool project, kind of. So G-Wagons have been notoriously known to be like the hardest car to wrap. And I've had plenty of like accent pieces on G-Wagons before, but never had an actual full wrap. So this week one finally snuck in. Uh, we have a C63 AMG getting wrapped in satin white. And then we have a G63 AMG G-Wagon getting wrapped in satin black. So I was super hesitant to take on this project, but just because it's known to be like one of the hardest cars to wrap, but the really good thing is that it's black going satin black, which is the easiest color combo to wrap. So we have one of the hardest cars with one of the easiest colors. So we, uh, let's see how it goes. So we put this grill on just so the video would look good. And now I'm trying to take it off. Oh! Perfect. Now the car's disassembled. So that front part came off pretty easy. It's just a couple of big ass screws. Uh, so we actually started yesterday. We brought this car in, we wiped it down. Now we took apart some stuff. I was kind of hesitant about taking this car apart because it's a brand new G-Wagon. But luckily, Mohammed and Alex are both super good at taking stuff apart. Thank God. So yeah, we took apart this, took the mirrors off, took the door handles off. In order to take the door handles off, you can see we took the whole door panel off. Kind of hard to see, but. Again, a brand new G-Wagon. Just rip it apart. Don't break anything. Side mirrors, you also have to take all this apart. Um, this is going black to black, so we don't have to take like the doors off or as much stuff off. Like, cause these, we noticed these had some like clips behind them, at least this one. Three clips that are glued, so if you pull it, it's automatically broken. So we're probably gonna leave those, just cut around them. Uh, then we're taking, we gotta take this wheel off. We're taking some of this trim off. Took the badges off, this handle as well. To get this handle off, of course you have to take the old side thing out, get under here, so. Yeah, luckily I have some people that know what they're doing disassembly wise, otherwise this would be a pain in the butt. This one is just a screwdriver. This is the spare tire. See if they have the same wheel on here as they do on the car. That's a no. They got a gloss black wheel here and then satin black wheels on the car. Classic Mercedes. So we might have to, I've never seen the back of this door before without a wheel on it. So. We're probably gonna take this whole unit out so we don't have any seams and stuff here. Otherwise, we could put a little seam here, nobody would ever see it. But we'll see how much the guys wanna take this apart. So this is Alex. He just joined our team like three days ago, but super good mechanic. He's been working with BMWs for 15 years. Engines, transmissions, interiors, electric. Every single thing imaginable. So he's super, super helpful. I'm gonna get a rag, wipe that down. Kinda dirty. So we got some O&R. Just waterless wash. Cause apparently we didn't clean behind the wheel, so. You know, get some of this dirt out of here. So 
So this car we just started uh, today. So we brought both these cars in like a day ago. Uh, this is a relatively like easy car because um, it's a black car going satin white. Relatively easy just for the fact that I've probably done 10 or 20 of them like the same model. So there's nothing really like uh, a surprise about it versus that one we've never done. Uh, disassembly for this wasn't really that much either. Door handles, badges, and I think that's about it. So yeah, we're doing them side by side. We'll see which one gets done first. It'll be kind of like a race. So what's up guys, um, just a little overview. So this is now day three. So we've had the G-Wagon and the uh, C63. Uh, you can tell the difference in um, how complicated these cars are to wrap, because behind me, we have about 70% of this C63 pretty much all done. The G-Wagon, however, we have like 20% of it done. So. I'll kind of walk you around, show you what else we have to do on it, but there's a big difference in how difficult these wraps are. So, so far we've literally, we've spent a lot of time disassembling things, and we have the door and the quarter panel wraps. Um, so after just wrapping two pieces of this, it's pretty obvious to tell that it is, uh, takes a lot more time. Uh, this quarter panel starts here, and is one solid piece until here. So that's like a 12 foot piece. Uh, when we were installing it, it's pretty nerve wracking because if you make one bad relief cut, you get dirt in the wrong spot or dirt at all. You do something wrong, you have to redo that entire thing. So this took me, this took me and Mohammed like three hours probably to do, three or four hours with two installers. Then we got to do it on that side as well. So that's what we'll be doing today. Um, then we'll probably knock out a couple of the doors. Uh, compared to this car, we did the whole side, both doors, fenders, trunk. We just, I mean, hood. We just have to do the trunk uh, and front and back bumpers and some chrome delete door handles and we're pretty much good to go, so. What's up guys? So this is day four or three of the G-Wagon. It's Friday, so it's day four. Um, so right now I'm just working on a chrome delete, which is kind of cool. It's a, almost the same color as the car. This is a satin and this is a gloss, but uh, it's a close enough match where, you know, it's, it's kind of a cool idea. We're just gonna make that body color, black that out. So kind of simple. Uh, we got Josiah working on the back of this trunk here. After he finishes that up, we'll probably put a couple guys on this bumper. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Alex and Q finishing up um, some last pieces of the Mercedes. Make them nervous, film them, especially Q. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing the window part of this Mercedes and then probably the back door, maybe the hood, some of the side doors. So yeah, that's what we got in the shop today. Hopefully tomorrow this Mercedes will be done and then Monday we'll finish this one up. So we'll finish them around the same time, which is kind of cool, even though this one takes like double or three times as long, so. This is the longest knifeless tape pull in history going in the Guinness Book of World Records right here. I'm over here. You can see where the knifeless is at. Can you get that on camera? You got it? You can see it? We 
we set a new set a new record. Oh. That's why you put masking tape on stuff you don't want the vinyl to stick to, because otherwise it gets really hard to pull off. So I probably should have stuck some more blue tape up there. It says back door, but oh, don't wait. Back door? That's not right. No, that's probably an actual back door. Oh. Chunk gate. Is that what that would be called? <laughs> well, I think that's closer than the back door. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yesterday, he's rap he starts wrapping the back door and goes, I'm going to wrap the middle door. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah, I consider this the back door. <laughs> the, the middle, middle door. door. Like, bro, there's Perfect. only two. It's not like there's three. What's up guys, this is Andrew. Um, so this is Monday of next week. So we had these cars now both for a week. So we're trying to finish them both today. The white Mercedes is, is done. Um, it's getting a ceramic coating right now just to keep it clean longer, help protect UV, all that good stuff. The G-Wagon, we still have the fenders, the bumpers, and then a coating as well. And then we gotta put the badges back on all the cars. So if you wanna check out the, the one we are done with, uh, or throw a coating on it, dress the wheels, make it look good, and uh, yeah, here it is. So, this is the last day we have on this G-Wagon. Uh, we're pretty much, we're like 90% done, 80% done. Now we just have all the real kind of hard technical areas, like the front and back bumper. So hopefully we'll get this done tonight. It'll get shipped out tomorrow. You can see Q's finishing up these uh, side skirt pieces. Um, with this bumper, it's got like a little lip here and it's broken up super weird. So most bumpers like that Mercedes, one piece, maybe an inlay here or there. This bumper, if I had to guess, is probably gonna be like 10 or 15 pieces because there's no way I can stretch vinyl, have it sit all the way in there while wrapping around there. I mean, maybe we could, but it's gonna be much safer, hold up longer if we just put a seam on that body line. So yeah, not really sure how to approach this, but uh, we'll give it a shot and, and it will look good at the end, of course, but so yeah, we'll keep you updated. What's up guys? So we just finished this G-Wagon. It's about 11 o'clock at night. We put in a couple 12 hour days on this car. As expected, uh, it was definitely uh, super challenging. Nothing was like extremely crazy that we couldn't do, but the time it takes to wrap it was uh, probably two times what a normal car would be. So for example, the bumper we did on the S63, um, that we just did was a single piece bumper. No inlays, no overlays, anything like this. This bumper alone is 10 pieces. So just to give you an idea uh, of the time it takes to do that, not 10 times as long, but it's definitely way longer. So, I mean, this car has so many little nooks and crannies. Every door has these little gaps, has these recesses. Um, you know, we had to go around all this molding. We didn't pull it off, we taped around it. So every time we wrapped it, we had to, careful not to overstretch, overcut, anything like that. The fenders, we didn't take off. Um, so it was just a lot of real, real small, intricate stuff that we really had to pay attention to on every single body panel of this car. So that's what makes this car hard. 
Um, it is doable. I would definitely do one again after doing this one. But if somebody brought me a white one, uh, it would be even exponentially harder because you would see in these gaps, you would see white, these would be white. So you would either have to get real creative or charge a lot more to just remove literally the entire car, just take it apart. So I'm sure that will happen. I'm sure somebody will come with a white one and get it wrapped. So if that happens, we'll make a video on that one too. But for now, let's just enjoy this nice satin black tank. Oh yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Leave some comments if you have some questions and uh, we'll get back to you.